Yeah, that was me firing guns in the f intro. Hi guys, Jackie Wolf here. You know, I don't know, it's been a while since I posted a video, and I absolutely apologize for that. Absolutely. But I've had some things kind of come up. But anyway, I guess we need to get into this. Now, I must confess, we live in a time that is a little bit different than what you would actually think it is. You see, instead of this great shining technology, this great utopia that we could be building... We have at last created something even darker and more tragic. We have created a dependence upon things to think for us, to create culture for us, to decide what we believe for us, to the point that we remake the same things over and over and over again. And thus, by doing so, we have started to stagnate and decay. You see... It would be very interesting to turn back the clock to 2008 and see what the aftermath of the economic collapse was. Of course, I lived it and it was a very painful experience. But also, it would also be very great to turn back the clock to 2008 and to see what the independent creation sphere of YouTube was at that point in time. You see... It wasn't a bunch of remakes. It was actually interesting content. Nowadays, I look at everything. I look at creative content. And it's so rare I find something genuinely great because people made it out of love instead of trying to remake the same thing for the millionth time for profit. And it absolutely concerns me. Because it seems that we have lost the one thing that we need as a human society. Any society needs is a culture, and culture is generally fueled by mediums such as art, music, movies, video, video games, books, poems, and so on. These things are needed for the conveyance, for the shaping of ideas and rationalism. The other such problem I have seen is I have seen people on both sides. Though I hate the terms left and right, I will use them in this video. But I have seen people on both sides of the left and right complaining that they believe that echo chambers is the right idea because they don't want to deal with people they necessarily disagree with. And I find this appalling. You do not grow and change if you're not constantly being challenged by new ideas and new problems, as well as not listening to every solution within. But now, I could just be some internet artist talking about my feelings, and for the most part I am. But anyways, as I was saying, it is one of the scariest things to me right now. And, well, as it were, I hope you kids are ready for a long, long time. Because it seems our history, our culture, and everything about us is slowly being token for us, for these corporate entities. This more hard, harsh reality. We don't have freedom of speech anymore. We don't have freedom of self. We are all part of the collective, and we own nothing, and we're not happy about it. Deep down, you feel broken and destroyed, and yeah, there's not much I can do about it. But if you've stayed to this part of the video, I want to give you a big hand and tell you that I love you, and that the sunrise will come again. After this dark age of mankind is over, a new enlightenment will appear, as it always does. So until then, I love you, and goodbye.